Hi there, it's Ernest from TripAstute. In this video, we're discussing fake taxis and why you should avoid them while traveling. When I was in college, I did a summer semester abroad in Italy. I was really excited about going, and when I arrived in Rome, I was approached by someone at the airport terminal, asking if I needed a taxi. Naively, I said yes, and the next thing I know, I was in a black unmarked car heading to my hotel. What should have been a $40 taxi ride ended up being $80. What I realized was that this was a private driver who probably singled me out as a naive traveler. In a way, I was lucky, since I've heard horror stories of travelers being robbed or threatened after entering fake taxis. Since then, whenever I travel, I'm always weary of people approaching me as I exit the terminal. I hate to be pessimistic and cynical, but I just assume that most people waiting outside the airport or at tourist spots aren't looking to help me out out of the goodness of their heart. While I'm sure there are some folks who are truly there to help, I would guess that most are looking to take advantage of lost or vulnerable travelers. So consider this a public service announcement. When you're traveling, don't accept a ride from anyone who approaches you at the airport. It's safer and probably less costly to go to the official taxi area or line. In addition, here are some tips to keep in mind. Number one, ask the cost before entering the taxi. Taxi drivers or the airport workers who manage the line should be able to tell you how much it costs to go to your destination. Oftentimes, the rate to common tourist areas is already preset. Your taxi driver will also be less likely to try to scam you if you already have a price in mind. Number two, look for official logos and licenses. Make sure the vehicle you're entering has official markings and licenses posted. If the car looks like a private vehicle, then I would suggest walking away and asking an airport worker where you can find the official taxis. Number three, carry smaller change if possible. One annoying scam that drivers will sometimes try is to say that they can't give you back change. Unless you feel like a tip is warranted, I would suggest asking the driver to come with you to the hotel lobby or to a store where you can break your bills. Also, I sometimes carry a few smaller US dollars in case they are willing to accept it. Number four, research your options before you arrive. It's common for hotels or tours to offer rides from the airport, either for free or at a pre-negotiated rate. It's definitely worth researching before leaving for your trip. Also, you can often find information on the taxi situation and rates on sites like TripAdvisor for your specific destination. Number five, consider using a ride sharing service as an alternative. In some countries, ride sharing is quickly becoming a valid form of transportation to and from the airport. When I traveled to Thailand, I actually found that both Uber and Lyft were operational in Bangkok. There are some complications with this though. One, you will need to have an active internet connection. Two, you need to determine the pickup location, especially at the airport. And three, there are often language barriers. We'll do a separate video on getting ride-sharing services abroad so we can dive deeper into the topic and share some tips. And those are our travel tips when it comes to taxis. If you have any experiences with fake taxis or even real ones, please share them below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit the like button. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing too. It's free and you'll get notifications on all our new updates. In addition, check out more videos like this one on our travel tips playlist. Until next time, travel safe and travel smart.